Hi guys, meet Laura. Laura's natural hair is a very high percentage grey around the front, almost 100% of the hairline, ranging down to about 60% through the back. But as you can see, it has a tendency to go very, very warm, with a lot of yellow tones around the front and orange tones through the back. Laura really hates this. Laura has decided to embrace her naturally grey hair after playing with colour for many, many years. She got tired of the maintenance. However, her children, her two sons, always tell her that her naturally grey hair makes it, her look a lot older than they'd like her to look. So today we've decided to do a silver glow service to neutralise a lot of those unwanted warm tones, but also add a little bit more depth to the hair to give her a kind of a fresher, cleaner look. I start by applying the True Grey Toner Steel Glow Medium to the areas with the lowest percentage grey. Any areas at the nape of the neck then I swap onto Pearl Mist Light as the hair is naturally a much higher percentage white there and it gives a nice little contour at the nape of the neck that I want to keep. One thing to note is, yes, I'm gonna protect her neck with a clear sheet, but as I drop down the hair, I don't want it to look too much like a color service, so I'm just gonna really saturate the hair, make sure it's totally combed through and really evenly distributed, and taking big sections and not making it look too much like a color technique. Around Laura's face, I want to, yes, neutralize the yellow, so I'm gonna work with Pearl Mist Light again, but I'm also going to add a little bit of depth, so I'm gonna work with Steel Glow Medium 2. I'm gonna take large sections, primarily focusing the lighter shade closer to the face and the darker shade closer to the back. Large sections again, really saturating the hair, trying not to make it look like too much of an ornate color technique. Resting the hair back away from the face then, moving on to the other side where you can see again, starting with Pearl Mist Light, alternating on to Steel Glow Dark, and swapping over back and forth. We have to remember what true grey is and really work in large sections and be brave. It's very tempting to want to foil in fine weaves or small pieces, however they will just disappear into the hair. Trust me when I say this will give you a beautiful blended result. I then move on to the top section where again taking large sections working towards the front hairline alternating between steel glow medium and pearl mist light. When I get to the very front section I finish off with pearl mist light to keep that lighter contour around Laura's face. All in all it took me 10 minutes to apply the true grey toner to Laura's hair today. And here you can see as we start to develop what it looks like. But very, very importantly, we can see after the 30 minute development time of True Grey Toners, how dark it oxidizes. It's important to let your clients know that visually, this is what it will look like when it's developed. But this is my favorite piece. When you start to rinse away the True Grey Toner, it reveals the beautiful natural grey hues that it leaves in the hair. My next step is to shampoo with Elements Renewing Shampoo. And once that's rinsed, I apply Clear Conditioning Perfector and develop for three minutes. Clear Conditioning Perfector is perfect for Laura's hair because yes, it will give amazing shine and smoothness. However, Laura likes a bit of grit in her hair and the natural texture of her hair. So I don't want anything to weigh down the hair or anything that is too smoothening or too conditioning. And wow, what a result. Silver Glow Service has really neutralized all of those unwanted yellow and brassy orange tones in Laura's hair. This is Laura's second time having a Silver Glow Service and she really describes it in her own words as polishing or cleaning up her grey hair. She really loves how adding darker pieces to the front really frames her face better and keeps her kids happy as they feel it looks more like their mother.